Hey, what's up guys? This is your Call of Duty Professor Mr. Spade here, and I have some Monarch for Two for you guys. I know this is the game. This is the game that got us all frustrated, throwing our controllers through the wall, punching the wall, making holes in the wall with our knees, throwing our Xbox 360s around, snapping discs in half. This is the game that did it all. Got us all mad. And I'm playing it. Why am I playing this? Well, main reason is that Treyarch has made Black Ops, I think, a little too boring by not adding stop stopping power in the game. It's a little bit too slow paced, and this game it just moves a lot quicker. You get killed a lot quicker, you kill people a lot quicker, you get the kill streaks, kill streaks stack. I think it's really a, a lot more entertaining over a long period of time just because of its fast pacedness although it does get frustrating a lot easier and it's a lot more difficult to play this game than black ops black ops is really easy so that's why i'm playing this game this game ends with a bit of a bang it's a classic nuke run guys we've seen it all hundred times we've done it all hundred times you know harrier ac-130 nuke or chopper gunner that is but i'm using the ac-130 on this map just because it's so beast on this map so, anyways guys, since we're playing the Infinity Ward game, let's talk about Mono for 3. What do I want for Mono for 3? Well, the main thing I want is freaking dedicated servers. I know, people have been begging Call, uh, Activision and Call of Duty to do it for ages. But dedicated servers, it would really, really help. I mean, <laughs> I get killed so much from bad hit detection in Black Ops. The, the hit detection on that game is so bad, it's ridiculous. I, I just can't even describe how bad it is, but yeah, dedicated servers. PS3 has them, guys. Why can't Xbox get them too? I just don't. I don't understand. I think it'd be just a little bit more expensive, but it would make people a lot less frustrated. And I think that that's a better gain than a loss for a little bit of money. So, get dedicated servers, guys. And that's all I have to say about that. Another thing I would like to see from. Modern Warfare 2 and Infinity Ward is the support that they're giving us. Um, Treyarch did a really good job of supporting their game. They took feedback from the community and applied it to their game almost instantaneously. We would They would find a glitch and fix it before most of the people had even found it. So I thought that that was really good and that they were out in the community actually looking for feedback and fixing glitches as were this game like look at the javelin glitch that stayed around for a month or two and the care package glitch that was out for four months past the game was out that's that was just ridiculous it took forever for them to put in a patch for that stuff and the noob tubes they never actually ended up fixing those they ended up putting a patch out after the release of Black Ops and that didn't really help at all and that kind of pissed me off because it was after the release of Black Ops everyone's playing Black Ops now they were supposed to draw people back in I think but I don't know if it worked it definitely didn't work on me I only started playing it because I was bored of Black Ops so those are the two main things I would like to see from Modern Warfare 2 there are some other things for example I think that stopping power should be built right into the guns every single gun so in other words the guns should take a little bit less bullets to kill. That's more realistic, and it makes the game more fast-paced, in my opinion. That is the one thing that makes uh, Black Ops a lot slower paced, is it takes more bullets to kill. So you sort of have to, like, follow people around and put more bullets in. And it just, it, I don't know, it just doesn't move as fast as pace, and it's a lot slower. And it frees up, I know it frees up other spots for you to use other perks, and I like that ability. Which is why you can add, which is why I'm suggesting that you add stopping power right into the game. So it takes a little bit less bullets to kill, and you can uh, use your other tier slots for other perks that you would like to use. For example, sleight of hand, uh, what else? Maybe steady aim, maybe some cold blooded. That's what I think should happen as well as uh, cold blooded or ghost or UAV jammer or whatever. Whatever it's called, I think that should go back into the second tier slot. There just isn't enough good first tier perks to for it to be in the first tier slot. For example, would you rather have Ghost over Flak Jacket? Or would you rather have Ghost over Lightweight? Yeah, the they're not amazing perks in the first tier slot, slot so people are going to be more inclined to use Ghost. As where, if you put it in the second tier slot, you have your Steady Aim, you have your sleight of hand, you have your warlord, people are a lot less willing to give up that for just to stay off the UAV. So I think that that's why Ghost should be put in the second tier slot. 
as long as they keep those other perks in the second tier slot as well. I just think it's way too of a overpowering first tier slot kill streak. So, I mean, not kill streak, uh, perk. Something else that I would like to see from Mono for 3 is to take out the ability to revive people in Last Stand. I think that's the most ridiculous thing ever. Why? Why, Treyarch, would you reward people for being noobs? Like, they go down, they go back up, they get to continue their freaking kill streak. Are you, are you for real? Uh, that's the most frustrating thing ever. I hate how they can be revived and you don't get the kill for it. But I like the fact that they added that new feature where if you put the guy in the last stand, it's your kill. Well, anyways, guys, those are just the main things I want to see from Monora for 3. There are a lot of other things that I would like to see as well. For example, noob tubes diminish a little bit. I know they did it in Black Ops, but I want to see it even more. Anyways, guys, kaboom, classic nuke run. Uh, this is Monora for 2, talking about Monora for 3. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.